Speaking of the epidemic of fatness, Lemare suffered a fat attack, dude, in public. Oh, <laughs> you bring up Lemare's fat attack? Yeah. Lemare. Lemare said it wasn't a fat attack. It is one hundred percent a fat attack. I'll, dude. I'll hear. I'll give you the version. That, I, before we go any yeah. further, I will say this: high school football. Yeah. Every single year, a kid suffered from a fat attack, <laughs> and it's the funniest thing in the world. No, you remember this when kids, the pussy kids on the team would be like, I'm having heat stroke. And they'd have to sit in the gator. They'd have to sit in the gator <laughs> under the shade. <laughs> fat attacks on the football field. Fat attacks are real. And then occasionally dudes would die from fat attacks. Like every year across the country, a bunch of dudes die from fat attacks in practice. But every year, kids, I dude, one of them listens to this. One of my friends had a fat attack, and I know he listens to this. <laughs> They had to like they like taped ice across his chest, and he had to sit in the gator with his shirt off. <laughs> yeah, you need if you, they're like uh, epipens or nugs, like dude. What up, nugs? Instead of the defibrillator, you need like a fan for a fat yeah. attack. You're just like, oh, hold on, let me. Fat attacks are brutal. Blow some air, turn it up. No, we need high. Turn it up to high, doctor. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the mayor, you got sent to the gator, dude. They had to, <laughs> they had to put you under a tree. This was a story I heard. It yeah. was that the, the place was packed, mm. right? So already it's packed summertime. The, the threat levels for a fat attack are high. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, Lemaire pulls up. They should have that on the news. A like a weather channel be like, fat today's fat attack uh, probability is red. We're in the red today. <laughs> 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 Might want to powder your balls, fats. Powder your balls and keep a towel handy to dab your head. <laughs> if you're black, you can carry a towel, which is nice. <laughs> <laughs> I wondered, I saw a guy dabbing his head today. If you're white, you must wear shorts and Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Lemaire, the story was you rolled up. It, it was sweltering. It was crowded. And then um, showed up uninvited. A good friend of the Correct podcast. me if I'm wrong. Uninvited to well, no, a full he was capacity. Warned. He was warned. Our friends were like, "Well, Mayor, it's really crowded here and it's really hot. You can come, but it's going to be kind of miserable." So your fr- his friends were like, "There's a good chance you're going to have a fat attack." <laughs> I'm not going to say it, but it's hot up here. It's not built for the thicks. Yeah, the so fats. You dude. were discovered on the steps of this place. Am I you're- correct? <laughs> sitting, sitting, not laying. <laughs> Didn't make it to the roof. No, you know, I think he made it. He went back in. You can make like a video game out of it, like an Oregon Trail. <laughs> just Lemaire trying to get to a rooftop. It, dude, it was, it, was, it was hot. You have to yeah. stop and hunt for chips. <laughs> <laughs> you have to dump, dude. Oh, dude, it gets even better. So the story I heard that, that you, I guess you went out there, like, oh, it's too crowded, hit the steps, and then you were discovered uh, by a friend of the podcast sitting there. And friend of the podcast was, found you. She was like collapsed concerned, in the hallway. Concerned and was like, "Dude, are you okay?" And you were like, "I, I don't feel well." So then you went and laid. they got to treat it. They got to throw buckets dude. of water on them. They got to treat him like a whale being transported <laughs> to a different tank. They got to throw water dude, on him. Lemare was then transported to the owner's bed, the owner, and laid in the owner's bed. What? Fans on, fans on. With, did you have a cold towel? I believe there's a cold compress applied. No. Ice, maybe? You don't know? You there blacked was out? There was ice. <laughs> out. There was, you fatted out. There was ice. <laughs> uh, Your Honor, I fatted out. I don't recall. There was ice. I think the, the person applied ice. And he laid it. <laughs> to his brow? <laughs> to was his she brow. like? Oh, True. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank Lemaire, you. quick question. I mean, we'll get, look at off the look at, you, look at your pride right now. I see your pride. I don't have any pride. Admit your attack. Yeah, I took... I, told, I was being a cool guy. And you being like, Mr. Cool? I was being Mr. Cool. How cool? I was at the punchline before oh, that's being Mr. Cool, cool with yeah. Andy and Nate, and I had like three or four scotch and sodas. <laughs> <laughs> you can't drink. Do you drink? I drink a little bit. I feel like I never drank with you. No, we have to. Now he drinks. Well, He's a mogul. I, <laughs> true. <laughs> now these bullying white executives. <laughs> So you had a couple of scotch and service. I had a couple of scotch and service. Then I go to the roast battle, very nervous, get upstairs. What somehow. are you nervous about? Because I, I didn't think I'd get in. And then uh, you get... Oh, because it was full capacity <laughs> and they said, don't come. Yeah, more welcome. We can't let you yeah, in. Yeah, but what else am I going to do? I'm just wait. That's a Mr. Cool move. I know what you did. You big-timed everybody there. You I said, didn't big-time you know me. Four yeah, scotch and sodas. You I'm Matt and Shane's producer. You you barged. Barged. I didn't say nothing. I didn't say anything. So you ran anything. to your car so and you grabbed a knife. True. I followed Andy. Made and Matt's wife was there to stop you. <laughs> Andy was Damn. on a roast battle, so I followed them in. Gotcha. Andy was on it, so I came with him. And then uh, they had this this uh, drink in the back that was like uh, wine, and I don't know. It was I drank jungle a bunch. Juice? I drank a bunch. Sangria. Think it was jungle juice. I think it was jungle mm. juice. 
I drank a bunch. Sangria brings me back to Madrid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going back to Madrid, dude. I'm getting some sangria. A little fall, you get to walk through the streets and the marketplaces. They just ladle you some fucking you gotta go, dude. sangria. You got to go back. I said, damn it, eh? <laughs> damn it, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you're back like a full like old school country like a little I'm going Paris full Ma- I'm going boy. back MAGA dude I'm going full MAGA probably get respect over there the, fas- the fascistas the fascistas dude, the fascistas like, will be like fuck yeah dude dude, dude get this guy in here <laughs> so Lamar so you, you, you go in there you shoulder to the punch bowl <laughs> yeah. you, you came elbow in your way to the punch shit bowl shit faced I came in drunk and I started power drinking and then I uh the show was over, and I was like, I got to go on the stairs. I'm sweating. And I threw up, and I went to sit down. And then Kyle you threw uh, up? Ew, you show, threw up punch? I threw up. It was, no, it was like a lot. <laughs> it was like, yeah, but you threw up the, oh, there was food in that. Yeah, there was food in there. Jesus <laughs> What were you grubbing on beforehand? I don't know. Yeah, you do. What were you grubbing on? You it was know. probably Chipotle. <laughs> oh, Chipotle and- Chipotle scotch and jungle juice in a fucking hot stairwell. No, that just that's like a pressure cooker, dude. That's yeah, like a dude. They put that. That's like what those. That's kids, a bomb. That's yeah. That's Boston Marathon. They just <laughs> they just put Chipotle and scotch in a La Mer, <laughs> set them on the sidewalk, and they exploded. <laughs> so, so you hit the steps. You puke. After I puke, I hit the steps. I was on the steps because I was waiting for the bathroom to open up and waiting for nobody to be there so I can go puke. But then I was discovered. Uh, good friend Kyla Fox friend. discovers you. Yeah, a lady found him. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are you doing in here? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, are you suffering from a fat attack <laughs> on the steps? <laughs> no, it was Chipotle. <laughs> That's a fat attack, dude. <laughs> dude. Don't try to blame fucking pre-existing conditions on this. That's de- yeah, that's true. That's like a like a COVID test. Yeah, that's you a have COVID pneumonia test. and you have a little bit of COVID. <laughs> so, so you're discovered on the steps and you did take refuge. You say you St. Francis of Assisi in someone yes. else's bed. Yeah. Till your feet you, you rested really- up. They laid you to rest in someone's bed. <laughs> he was in a fevered state. It is fevered state. Oh, dude, it, just putting a fucking like sweaty dude you didn't invite to a party in your bed. <laughs> I fucking hate you for this. <laughs> Sneakers on? I didn't lay in the bed. I laid on the side. I, like, I, I mean, I can't believe bed. you assumed he was wearing sneakers, but go ahead. <laughs> no, I'm saying. Yeah, they were. It was side <laughs> of the bed, though. I didn't like, put my feet on the bed. Were you wearing your tennis shoes? <laughs> <laughs> your finest tennis shoes? You didn't put your feet on the bed. No, you remember that. You don't remember anything else. No, I remember Kyla. You remember the thing me. where you were polite. That's what you remember? I remember Kyla <laughs> guiding me to the bed. <laughs> and then... She left. Did you think you were getting some? No. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, damn, girl, you gonna take? <laughs> you move quick. <laughs> she found you in the stairwell. I was like, come on, get to the bedroom now. Quick, you have 24 hours. <laughs> so, how did you recover? What happened? I laid down for like 10 minutes, and I went upstairs on the couch, talked about basketball, and then I drove. <laughs> Fat attack. If you, you recovered home. in 10 yeah, minutes. Yeah. That's a- <laughs>